guys, nice to see you and welcome if you're new. If you're new here, this is Katie's Crazy Diary. I am Katie. I'm an actress, comedian and music TV host. I'm a German girl from Finland and I live in Los Angeles, California. And this video is the start of a new series, My Lockdown Diary. And I am making this because chances are that most of you who are watching right now, including me, are either on lockdown or in self-quarantine. And I hope talking about this will help all of us, including me, to feel less alone. I want this channel to be a happy place for you. A place where you can come when you need to be cheered up or when you just want some entertainment. And since we're all missing social interaction, you're welcome to reach out to me in the comment section. Connect with me and I promise I will respond to each and every one of you. I want this to be a happy, positive place but of course, we all have our concerns right now. Feel also free to share your concerns and worries. And I hope that we all can just support each other in the comment section. I want this here to be a place for you where you can come when you feel lost or lonely or anxious. I personally feel very anxious at times right now, so I get you. So let's make this here and especially the comment section a happy, comforting place for all of us. Oops, sorry, I didn't have bangs in such a long time. Now I'm gonna share with you day one till six of my lockdown diary. LA went on a lockdown on March 19th. Today is March 25th, day six. The first few days, the weather was like this. So it was easy to stay at home. I personally really love to be outside and to walk. I walk a lot and I don't have a car, but I really love to walk and I normally walk everywhere. I walk like a few miles to the supermarket in the sunshine and then I walk back and uh, I really miss that. And of course I miss to be close to other human beings, to hug my friends and to just interact with human beings in your everyday life. Yeah, I bet you all share these feelings. Um, uh, for me, it is really helpful to stick to a routine. I will probably make a separate video about my routine, but I meditate in the morning. And I also talk a lot to my dear ones everywhere in the world via Skype and other video call apps. And that makes my everyday life a lot better and that helps me to feel less alone. I also want to share with you what I did with all of the time that I have now. I kind of feel like I'm being grounded despite that I didn't even do anything. Feels kind of unfair. But yeah, what I did, as you can see here, I redecorated my vlogging background. I got these funny little signs uh, from the 99 cent store back in November or December, and now I finally had time to arrange them properly and to put them up. And I also got my beautiful new elk. I ordered it a few days ago from Amazon, and they actually wrote me that it would take until April 21st to be delivered. And then I got this beautiful, nice surprise today that my elk was delivered. Aww. Oh yeah, could you hear that? My neighbor was honking his car horn, maybe to celebrate that my elk was delivered. And by the way, I would like to give my elk a really cool name. So please post your suggestions in the comment section. What, what are we gonna name this guy? And since we have a new background, I also finally had time to design a new intro and a new outro for my crazy diary. And you will be the first to see it in this video today, right now. And as you can see, guys, I also learned something new. I learned how to put on a wig properly. I love this one. It's just a bit strange because I didn't have bangs in like, I don't know, 10 years. <laughs> So yeah, I, I will also play with this here and adjust it probably <laughs> until the end of this video. I also love to write, so I spend a lot of time writing right now, writing scripts, writing stand-up routines, writing down concepts for this year, some funny comedy videos that are gonna come your way here very soon. And I'm editing. And there will be also some videos that have nothing to do with the lockdown and the current situation because these videos were recorded earlier and I just never had time to edit them. But guess what? Now I have so much time, so I am going to also publish some videos that were filmed even last year. And the next video that you will get here is about my friend Alison and me getting tattoos. Uh, the first part of the video was filmed on March 1st, before the craziness hit us. 
And the second part was filmed on March 17th on St. Patrick's Day before the lockdown hit us. Oh, and today I just recorded a talk show via the internet, via video call uh, with an actor friend in New York. And it made both of us feel really good. And I will, I will put the link in the description when it comes out. I am also talking on Skype to my dad nearly every day. And I want to share a beautiful story because it made me smile and it gave me hope and maybe it can do the same for you. My grandma in Germany is in a nursing home and normally my dad goes to visit her every Sunday or even more often but regularly every Sunday. And now of course the nursing homes are on self-quarantine and lockdown too so no visitors anymore. And of course my grandma is very sad and feels lonely because she doesn't have social media, she doesn't know how to access the internet. My dad had an idea. He went through some gardens underneath the balcony of my grandma's room in the nursing home. And then he called her and talked to her. And after a few minutes of talking to her, he said, uh, why don't you put on a jacket and step out on the balcony? And then my grandma did. And she saw my dad standing underneath the balcony, like Romeo and Juliet. And she was so happy to see him. And uh, it really made her day or even her whole week because she could tell now in the nursing home that she was the only one who got a visitor. Yeah, this made me really happy and smile when my dad told me. I also want to share something about the vibes here in LA and about the overall atmosphere and feelings here in LA that people have. I will tell you about my two last times I was in the outside world. The first time was on March 18th, before the lockdown hit us. Uh, I really wanted to go to the post office and mail some things out. And I also wanted to go and stock up on groceries and get some extra food so that I won't be anxious about not having enough. And I, I went to my favorite organic supermarket and they made us wait in line for 20 minutes because they only allow 30 people in the store at a time. And I, I think it's a good idea. And I can tell you that everybody I met in the line at the post office and in the line at the supermarket, they were all super kind to each other and patient and nobody was bitching about oh now we have to wait everybody was really friendly with each other and really patient and i felt a lot of solidarity and that made me feel really good because i thought that's what we need to get through this we need to be kind to each other and support each other yeah and i just wanted to share that with you that that made me happy to see how kind and patient and compassionate people were treating each other here in la and nobody was starting a fist fight over toilet paper and actually toilet paper is out anyway, so nobody got any toilet paper. Please let me know in the comments if you're one of the very few people who still got toilet paper. I still have some Kleenex, wait, I show you. I am out of toilet paper, but I was so happy on Wednesday I got some of these. And I even got a bottle of hand sanitizer. So yippee. <laughs> and then the second time I went outside was yesterday, day five of the lockdown, March 24th. And I took my little camera with me, not the big one that we have there, the small one. And I filmed some vlog material for you about me going outside for the very first time since the lockdown. And again, everybody was really friendly and compassionate and patient with each other. And it kind of made my day. I went to get some really good food. Of course, no toilet paper, but good food. And I just went outside and I had some sunshine and exercise and I walked like, I think it's two miles to my favorite organic supermarket, Trader Joe's. Shout out to Trader Joe's. It's amazing. They have really good stuff. I stocked up on my favorite chocolate. And now you can see for yourself what LA looks like right now and how I experienced my first grocery shopping <laughs> adventure since the lockdown started. Today is for me the first time of going outside since the lockdown began on March 19th. Today we have March 24th and I'm here in Los Angeles on Hollywood Boulevard. And I am walking because I love to walk. I feel trapped inside. So I decided to walk to our local organic supermarket, Trader Joe's. Let's see what I get. Empty the 101 freeway is. I will put it 
side by side. This is freeway during rush hour right now during the lockdown. Walk of Fame, normally full of tourists. Actually, about one year ago, I was sitting here with Alison and walking here with Alison for our Hollywood vlog, if you remember. And you might remember that there were a whole lot more people. But I'm also happy to see that everybody is practicing social distancing and self quarantine. This is the line outside of Trader Joe's. And I will get into the line right now. You're not in the picture, don't worry. Okay. Hello, boy. Someone destroy your camera. It's my figure. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wait, maybe I come like this, but we have to have our distance. <laughs> hey guys, I'm now on the line of Trader Joe's. And hi, what's your name? My name is Henry. Hi, Henry, nice I'm to meet you. I'm here in a cold day, make a line. In Trader Joe's. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Oh, look, guys, I can go to the next okay. mark. Oops, hi. I'm allowed to come in? Uh, in about five minutes, in about five minutes. I moved to the final spot in the line here. Can you see that? And we get to listen to beautiful music songs while we're waiting. I got frozen chickpea masala, frozen pineapple, frozen quinoa with veggies, two packages. Then I got three packages of tofu. First look at everything I have here. Three packages of tofu, one package of baked tofu, my favorite turkey, like vegan turkey, two packages ginger, garlic, two packages of hummus with eggplant, two packages of normal organic hummus, two red onions, two avocado, two red bell peppers, a package of fresh salad, and three packages of dried olives, one package of brown rice noodles, four packages of my favorite dark chocolate. I hope that doesn't qualify as hamstring one can of black beans, four cans of kidney beans, a little bit hamstring I know, one package of fresh tomatoes, three packages of coconut milk, one oatmeal, and last but not least some organic olive oil. Oh yeah and uh, mustard, I love mustard. Look.
mission successful. I got food. <laughs> and as you can see, the Walk of Fame is still almost completely empty. Yeah. Except for my food. <laughs> Yeah guys, that's my food! And if you wonder why it looks so shiny, that is because I just sanitized it. And I also sanitized my sunglasses. And if you've been watching this for a while, you know that I really love heavy metal music, especially power metal. And in the last few videos, my friend Alison and I did some headbanging and we really enjoy it and I noticed that exercise and moving around and dancing is very good for you because it uh, releases endorphins, that it will make you feel happy. And therefore, I want to start something here on my crazy diary. I even want to start a hashtag. It's called headbanging against fear. So share the hashtag headbanging against fear. That means at the end of every video from now on, we're gonna headbang together. And today I want to headbang until this wig comes off because it was so much fun doing that with Alison in our St. Patrick's Day video. In case that you're not into metal, get into metal! No, actually in case that you're not into heavy metal, just turn off the volume and play your favorite song and dance with me. And that's what we're gonna do now. Are you ready? By the way, in order not to get copyrighted, I will use a royalty-free song that I always used when I was rocking the bathroom with my best friend Maria Teresa in Finland. So we're gonna headbang now to the song Indifferent by the band A New God. Guys, hashtag headbanging against fear. Let's headbang a little more. <laughs> Woo! That feels good. Now my new friend has my wig. Guys, um, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And please feel free to keep dancing. Play your favorite song again and dance, dance around, jump around. It will make you feel good. And guys, um, <laughs> please let me know in the comment section if you want a video on a certain topic. I am planning to make a video about my daily routine that helps me to get through the lockdown and a video about how to deal with anxiety and maybe we can even have a lockdown cooking video. Please let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want because I can do it now. I have time! I'm on a lockdown. So <laughs> Stay positive and hopeful and you know, never stop dreaming!